The Site Info Tool is the area of your site uh, through which you accomplish many of your administrative tasks, like adding participants, managing groups, and importing content from previous sites. Back in our demonstration Isaac Sakai course site, we'll access Site Info by clicking Site Info on the left side of the page. And you'll note that there are a great many options available to instructors. We're going to quickly review them in today's video. Uh, and let's start by the Edit Tools button. And what this facility will do is allow you to enable extra tools uh, in your Isaac Sakai course site. At the moment, this is a list of tools that are already enabled in our site. But if we would like to add more, this is how we do it. You'll note that the tools that are currently active on the left of the page have a check next to their name, uh, and as well those that aren't active have just an empty box. In order to enable the gradebook tool, I have just placed a check next to its name, and we'll continue the process by clicking continue, and then complete it by finish. And now gradebook has been enabled within our course site. You'll see also that there is a list of participants within the site uh, available within Site Info, and that's this information right here. There's only one person in this site right now. However, uh, when students gain access to the site, they will be included in this listing. Note also that students are normally automatically added to Isaac Sakai course sites the day after a course site becomes active. However, if we would like to add TAs or liaison librarians, we need to do so manually. Uh, so we'll actually uh, begin that process now, and we'll do so by clicking Add Participants up at the top. Note that you will need to know your colleagues' Brock campus ID in order to add them to your Isaac Sakai site. Using IDs uh, like those generated from Gmail or Yahoo will not be applicable here. I happen to know the campus ID of my colleague that I would like to add to the site, and so I've entered it into this box. And on this screen, I indicate what role I would like to assign him. On this screen, we can choose whether or not we would like to send an automated email, uh, indicating that our colleague's been added to the course site and be given access to it. The email will also provide a link directly to the site. And on the last page, after confirming information, we can complete the process. So we'll see now that our course has a TA, and that's indicated in this box right here in the role column. However, if we've decided that we've made an error and he's in fact a student, we can switch that very quickly by opening the menu and clicking student, and then update participants. If we uh, have a particularly large course and would like to filter content to our students, for example, if we would like to send announcements only to lecture group two or only to several of our many lab groups, we would do so by first creating those groups within the Manage Groups button here. And if we have taught a similar course several times uh, within the past few semesters and we would like to bring content over to our new course site. So that includes any lecture notes, any tests that we've created, uh, even any announcements or forum structures that we've made in previous courses. We can do so using the import from site option here. If you would like to learn more information about Isaac, uh, Brock's open source learning management system, please feel free to contact edtech at brocku.ca. Thanks for watching.